Hello, I'm John Fox on Channel Journalist. I'm having a solo adventure, and Catherine has successfully transferred Simon's mind into a new body, capable of withstanding extreme pressure. That's not quite true, is it? Uh, they are now ready for the abyss. Actually, I think you find. I think you find. Uh, she didn't transfer anything. She copied pasted. The old body still has the old information there, which Simon was not best pleased about. This is why all these people were um, suiciding, because they realised they still had their old bodies. Uh, but no, I think we are two people, and I'm not going to kill Simon. You know, Simon A, let's call him. So that is the button. I, I think I'll leave him alive. He's not a real person anyway, but that's not the point. Look at him, look at his face. Right. I'm tempted to run back to the mirror. I'm not going to though. Oh yes, I've got to pick up the only tool. Do I? Uh, do I have to close it? Do I not have the only tool? I, I don't know what I'm supposed to do now. I'm being dumb, but... Hmm. What's, what's, what's that plug into? Oh, she's over there. I'm in here. Sorry. Right, there we go. I knew you. Yes. And this is at least the third Simon. Knock knock! That mask that loading screen. Don't I just jump down? I still run at least. Falling! Oh dear. I'll break my legs on the way down. I died that not the way to do that. I was wrong! I knew that. I, I totally knew I shouldn't just jump like that. I feel like should have been fine. Whatever. Look, I got new arms. I'm a zombie. Oh yeah, we'll just uh, take a look, shall we? Plug you in. Are we done here? Yeah. Activate the clamor, please. Sure thing. Uh, passengers two. Descend. Say one. I I swore her a lot, so. It's probably about to go. Um. 
maybe passengers one. Take a seat and we'll be off. There we go. There's no escaping this ride. The summit zone. It's dumb luck, right? And I woke up in the right body. It's a redundant copy. I'll never experience my journey, the full journey. He wouldn't understand. How could he? And I couldn't do it, and you knew it. You were right in trying to hide it from me. Only wish you'd done a better job. I basically flipped a coin, and if I had called the wrong side, I'd be rotting away at Omicron. I mean, there's nowhere to know, right? You didn't hit the make sure Simon wakes up in the right body switch, did you? Not that you would know. I mean, he would still claim to be the right Simon. Christ. This is awful. We did an awful fucking thing. And you wouldn't mind. Why would you? How could you know that it's not me, the me that I am, the same that I've always been? Let me say something. I don't want to think. Please. I don't know what to say. I don't want to upset you. Say anything. When I was little, I used to climb the stairs all the way to the top of the building. And I could still feel how I did it, you know, tuck my arm so I could push the heavy steel door open. Well, the first time that I dared go up there, I stepped out onto the roof and watched the smog rise and fall over Taipei. I got all the way up to the corner ledge and, you know, I felt the warm wind in my hair and the sun was setting and the streets below were shadowed by the tall buildings. The people pushing through the crowd flowed like paint from an artist brush. Street food vendors filled the air with aromas of all my favorite foods. For a brief moment, I felt connected to the world in a way that I never had before. It was the most profound feeling of comfort and sense of belonging I could ever hope for. I really never felt the same way again, but I went up to the roof many times after. I'm not religious, but I can see why people would be. The privilege of being makes a strong case, at least every once in a while. Do you still feel that sense of awe? Even like this? Things are different, but we're still here. What's the point of going on? Everyone's gone. All the people still left are digital copies trapped in computers at the bottom of the sea. We'll never be able to rebuild or reclaim what we were. Are you really so unhappy being what you are, or is this about the man who went for a scan a hundred years ago? Both, I guess. When I was back in Toronto, even the worst case, the darkest futures I could predict, they at least included my previous life somehow. I feel so uprooted. There's nothing here that I recognize, nothing that makes me feel like I belong. Even if we make it to the Ark, would it be any different? I'd still be alone. No friends. No family. You make friends. New friends? I'm sure everyone would like to know the time traveler. If not, you still have... I still have what? What do I still have? Catherine? Kath? Hello, Catherine. What happened? I don't want to leave it behind. Oh, what's that? Hello, fish! How awesome would it have been if I could have brought the brain this far? It's not much, but why have we stopped moving? The power blacked out for a moment. I think it could be the atmospheric pressure. It's pushing pretty hard, really testing the limits of my suit. Don't worry, it should hold. Comforting. It will hold. Does... Does time freeze when you're not powered? Time feels omitted. What's the difference? I don't feel like I'm being held back or hindered. 
and I don't have the opportunity to reflect on the time I'm missing. It's simply missing. Sounds like sleeping without the dreaming. Yes, but generally you anticipate when you're about to sleep, and there's a natural continuation since we tend to wake up where we went to sleep. My experience is more like an ever-changing moment that never really seems to find closure. Sounds kind of like a movie being edited live. I suppose so. I guess it sounds exciting, but it really keeps me activated to the point of exhaustion. It's rough. Could be worse. Could be a time traveler stuck in a body made from black goo. That'd be the worst. Right. Starting to struggle to see. We enter the abyss. <laughs> Ross. He seemed pleased to see me at the very least. You might be able to hear my washing machine. I did try and close the door to block it out. I thought it's a Sunday. I should try, right? I should try to uh Oh good, you're back. What happened? Something dropped onto the cage, knocks you right out spoke to me looks like a man one of wow's creatures it just stared at you for a moment then threw itself down the abyss it said it would make preparations i don't like the sound of that it was very strange i thought it was going to kill you for sure I'm glad it didn't yeah me too I'm stuck in a lift for the entire eternity looks like we're closing in on the ocean floor i guess Good. we can last time sure the climber can take it much longer Okay, so this is the Omega Sector. It's about an acre of the Abyssal Plan used by Pathos 2. I expect we'll have to do some walking before we reach town. You haven't been here before? Not in a way that'll help us. I need the other you has been here. We're following your own footsteps, Kat. When I had footsteps... You could still be down here somewhere, technically. Don't remind me, freaks me out. There's two of me. I think two of you as well. Alright, face yourself. There's a secret alpha site as well, though, isn't there? Welcome to the abyss. the uh, ACR log so uh, sample collection physical checkups uh, let's check on um, that's Julia Dahl Julia Dahl no it's not it's uh, Julia and Richard Julia Richard uh, Alan and Julia tower evacuation Alan and Julia failed um, okay that'll, that'll mean stuff but I can't really pass it Stopping it from opening. Right, I thought I might need that. Well, it's clearly locked, but. Try the next one.
one. Warning, faulty activity, strong torrents expected. Faulting activity? It's Omicron. Tau. Up or down, I can't tell. Tao? Come in, Tao. Please answer, Tao. Alright, hold up. Let's keep going down. Stick to the lamp lights, they won't go near them. I can't fail, Glasser. It's important I reach Omicron. Our future depends on it. Calm down. Let's just follow the path. If I die, I need you to tell Julia Dahl that the WoW is out of control. She needs to get to Sarang. He'll know what to do. Raz, you can tell them yourself. We just need to pick up the pace, okay? Sorry. Jesus, did you see that? Stick to the lamp lights, they won't go near them. I can't fail, Glasser. It's important I reach Omicron. Our future depends on it. Calm down. Let's just follow the path. If I die, I need you to tell Julia Dahl that the WoW is out of control. She needs to get to Sarang. He'll know what to do. Raj, you can tell them yourself. We just need to pick up the pace, okay? We lost the park. We need to go back. I know where to go. Come on. It's over there. The light is over there. Final push for us. Almost there. We just. Ah! Oh, this is glass at all. So I just noticed this thing. Okay, blue leads to Tau, red leads to the climber. Let's follow blue. by the weird noises. Looky here. Building. Inventory. Lots of stuff. Okay. Including powdered eggs. Mission logs. Sorry, let's read these properly. Uh, so, uh, dried squid, pieces of anima, uh, cameras, quad, a filter. Rare shark approached the luminous lure, circle around to eat the dried squid. Unlikely that it frequents this depth, an anomaly. Um, estimated length of man. There's a giant squid, a uh, mantle the size of. A man, estimated length for the whole thing, 12 meters, frantic attack towards uh, a marlin apart. So as soon as we turned on the lights, it quickly fled the area. Clearly another specimen affected by the leaking structure gel, partially covered in scales, a newly formed bone structure protruding through the mantle. And, um, they don't know what this one is. Uh, creatures defigured by the gel are manic and will attack anything. Still hard to determine how WoW has affected their behaviour. Beyond their apparent beyond their apparent aggression and affinity with light, creatures seem to hunt something particular, something not present in this ecosystem. So there's the humpback whale. Some stats about it. Uh it's good. 
and the anglerfish. Don't have a lot of data on that anglerfish. Oh. Seems that like that may have been foolish. Following this wire. Oh, thank you, wire. It's quite a strong current here. And delicious. Seem to have curved. Might be off path now. Still blue lights so. though. Blue leads to tau. That's what they gonna keep telling myself. It's the town. Hmm. And what that is? Bit of a structure in the background. Let's check it out. Be a way in a doorway. Not enough power. That's not going to help with the power, is it? Status. Control. Observatory picking offline. ACR landing. What about the towel? Oh, hello. Don't you blink. Don't blink. Probably should have investigated the area quickly first, but I realised immediately that this was going to be a beacon light and I'd die without it. So, so just stick it out. That's clever, by the way, what it's doing. Maybe I should keep looking upwards. Unless that means to lose it. It feels very easy to lose. Hello, Ross. Uh, it just got killed by a squid. Check out this cave instead. Aha! We have a flashlight. This is very pretty. 
I feel like that I can Keep on moving. Alright, it feels like I've turned several times. Was I just noticed the spiders? I wonder where we're going. I thought that was vegetation at first. No nope, spiders. They don't seem to mind me though. Can we be honest? I feel like this is where I started. Maybe there's anyone. I'll take the right path this time. I shouldn't have got frightened by that anglerfish. Plenty of nutrition down here, though. And I'm not even, even including the spiders in that. See how people die down here. Pretty really sure real life John would have died down here. Thankfully I'm in a robot suit. Uh, I know I'm on 30 minutes. Actually, no I'm not. I've got a cutter now. Anyway, this, this feels good. Feels like I'm on something. And I appreciate they made this slightly long to make it more scary. Or scarier, if uh, you want to speak. Uh, you know. Words really don't bother so much. And here we go. I think I'm going to let you go. I've been John Proxer on Tunnel John West. I've been having a SOMA adventure. And I'll see you guys next time. Thank you. Thank you for watching.